right. So, <clears throat> this huge freaking thing here. I guess I'm going to have to tell you about this. Here we go. Are you an 80s businessman? Do you have to get all your computers done? Do you got to do your beeps and your boops and your boop, beep, 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 beep? Do your trades? Well, here's the deal. You're trapped. You're stuck at this desk. Look at all these people in this room. They can't go anywhere because they don't have a portable computer. Enter the Osborne One. Da, 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 da. You could do this portably. And then when you open it up, you're a hacker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is it? Oh, yes, and in. Do you remember when you were a kid and you had He-Man's castle and on the wall of He-Man's castle there was just like a sticker that had like a fake computer and TV screen and controls and stuff and you were like you were a kid and you were like poking the the ink on the sticker like pretending that you were running that computer but it kind of sucked because it was just a sticker well the osborne one is just slightly more functional than that sticker uh it's really slow uh it doesn't have a lot of memory uh it has two disk drives but they can only hold 90 kilobytes so i don't i don't know what you're gonna do with that the monitor is the size of like a like a wheat thin like you just like imagine operating your computer on a wheat thin and that's what using an osborne one is like but it's only green and you can't do any graphics and it's really terrible but it was designed to fit under the seat in an airplane um in the 80s but it's not the 80s it's always the 80s in my house It's always the 80s in my house Yeah, it's always the 80s in my house Yeah, it's always the 80s in my house Now right, we're gonna plug this bad boy in Bam! We're gonna turn it on Ooh, nice And here you're gonna see it's gonna take forever to boot up And the time that it takes for this screen to just slowly glow to life you could have made yourself a sandwich. You could have gotten a wheat thin or a triscuit, um, which would be much larger than this monitor, which goes from bad to terrible, depending on how you want to dial these knobs. Uh, that one on the right there dials uh, more static on your screen. Uh, it's not good. Um, I can't imagine using this in a real world setting just all day, just in a word processor it has a it had a spreadsheet program um i'll listen to this <laughs> oh man now i don't have any of the software right now so i can't show you what it looked like but it wasn't great anyway it was a spreadsheet program uh use word star which is what they uh, do the game of the thrones on so that's a great show yeah, but this is a this is a pretty amazing piece of technology from 1981. Technology was moving so fast that the next year there was one of these with even a bigger screen. Uh, Compaq reverse engineered the IBM PC so it could do MS DOS and all PC compatible software. This thing was obsolete uh, moments after it was released, uh, which is really sad. But my Osborne comes with something that completely defeats the purpose of having an Osborne. <laughs> yep, an external monitor for a portable computer. Um, it's a mess. You have this ribbon cable that's like electrical tape together. Uh, I. I mean, it's better than looking at that Triscuit monitor all day, but this thing barely goes in there. I mean, you gotta just wail on it. And uh, that plugs into there. 
And then now you got an external monitor for your Osborne, completely defeating the purpose of a portable machine. I mean, if you wanted a desktop machine, you should just go get like an IBM PC, like a 5150, or any other computer on the market other than this thing, which is a piece of crap. It has, I don't know, 64 kilobits of RAM and a 4K ROM. Uh, the discs hold four letters, and then you got to go get another disc. You can't even flip them over. Uh, but no, now you get to sit at a desk and stare at this terrible screen that looks like it's a it's from Fallout 3 or something. I mean, it's it's a beautiful piece of technology, but man, this is primitive. This is this you can't do anything with this computer. It doesn't play games. It's a terrible word processor. It's not good at spreadsheets. I mean, that's the Osborne one. Uh, it was cutting edge for i don't know six months seven months uh they announced that they were going to make a better one so people stopped buying this one and then they didn't have enough money to build the better one so they went out of business pretty quick um i guess the question is why do you have this i mean that's the name of this right is is why do you have this computer reviews but the real question is why do i have two I'm going to have to give this one a 10 out of 10.